Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? Wait, it's so dark. How's it going? How's it going? Hello, Liz. Yo nací en Japón, en una base militar en Okinawa. Mi padre perdió en Vietnam. I didn't hear you. Hello, Liz. Era un niño indefenso y sin medios. Hasta que un sensei de ahí me confió en su. Uh, one, two, one. Star Wars. <laughs> really? That's Star Wars? Vanessa, that's Star Wars, Carla, that's Star Wars? Um, no, it's um, the Teenage Turtles. Teenage Turtles? Teenage Ninja Turtles. Teenage Ninja Turtles. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's okay. I am with my kitten. With your kids? Okay, your children. Yeah. It's okay. And okay. It, it, it. Okay. So, Liz, how's your how's your toe? Yeah, how's your toe? How's your toe doing? Como va tu pie? Please, I cannot hear you. Más o menos. Okay, how do you say más o menos, Michelle? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Mm, so, so? <gasps> sort of. Ah, sort of okay. good. Mm, or you can just say, it's going. It's going. Better. We um we can say more or less. No? More or less. Yeah. No. More or less. Okay, kind of good. Kind of good. Okay. Good. Okay. We're missing some of your classmates. Where are they? Hello, Jose Angel. How are you? Good evening. I and I'm great. How's the heat? How's the heat? Uh, it's a little rain too. A little it's rainy? Oh yeah. Ah, uh, little. A little rainy. Yeah. But sometimes when it rains, it gets hotter, right? Yeah, it's it's very hot with uh rain yeah when it rains because the streets the how do you ass... say how do you say alborota <laughs> rises rises okay the rain rises the heat rain rises the heat uh because the 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 asphalt is hot right the asphalt is hot and the water evaporates yeah, yeah, and you get this. This is worse. You get this humid, humid heat, right? Calor humido, humid heat. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, I saw that in some places in El Salvador it's raining, right? You guys, I'm in California. <laughs> yeah, right. Hello, Michelle. Hi, <laughs> how's Japan doing? What? <laughs> How's Japan doing? <laughs> it's just that you like. Ah. You look a little Chinese. <laughs> no, but I'm not Chinese. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Hello, Lorena. Hi, teacher. How's it going? Sorry, teacher. How do you say your result in English? 
How do you say it resulta? Wanna know? Do you want to know? You say turns out. Turns out. Turns out. Resulta. Turns out. And you can use that in a context, like in a conversation, right? And she she says um, she says she's not married, but turns out that she is married. Okay, for example, uh, they say they say it's not going to rain in El Salvador, but turns out that it's raining in San Miguel. Hmm. We're getting there. Estamos a punto de ver otro tiempo gramatical que es el presente continuo. Ya casi llegamos por ahí, ¿ok? Antes vamos a ver modales. Hoy vamos a ver verbos de necesidad. Necessary verbs, which is very interesting. Ok, Edwin is driving. For example. Ok, so we have Carla Vanessa y de Sorto, maybe Sivet, Raúl Ernesto, Janet Morales, Osmin Baires. Very yes. good, okay. Good evening, Ospin. Okay, yes. so before we move on, let's start with your with your roster. Checking the attendance really quick, guys. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames is not here yet. Okay, Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Thank you, Edwin Rolando Mendes Chicas. He's driving. Here. Thank, thank you. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Not yet. Estela Veralí Siguenza Figueroa. Not yet. Okay. Flora Lorena Chavez Campos. She's yeah. there. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Not here. Jose Angel Pereira Romero. Here. Yes, Carla Vanessa Garcia de Perez. Yes. Here. Thank you. Maybe Sivet Milla Contreras. Here, here, here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Os... <laughs> Sorry, llegando a casa. Okay, good. <laughs> Osmin Baires Solórzano. Here, here. Thank you. Here. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Not here yet. Okay. Raúl Ernesto Campos González. Present. Excellent, Raúl. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Not yet. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Here. Mm, where? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bill May de Sorto Escobar. Okay. Present. Thank you. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. And Janet Magdalena Morales Gómez. Thank you guys. Okay, let's start. Let's start with some new vocabulary. Um, I was thinking about something. <laughs> Remember we, we talked about there is and there are. Yes, there is, there are. Okay. Hello, Roselena, good evening. Hello, good evening. So let me just show you really quick an extra topic. So there is and there are. Remember, there is singulars, right? And there are plurals. Now let's stay with there is. And let's use it in a question. What is there? to say about, okay? What is there to say about, and then you add the topic. Now let's make it more natural. What's there to say? Repeat, what's there to say about, repeat, what's there to say about? What's, what's, there, what's to there to say about? about? What is this? What's there to say about? What's there to say about the weather in El Salvador? What's there to say about the weather in El Salvador? Oh, there's 
a lot to say about it. In El Salvador, the weather is hot most of the time. Okay, let's say most part of the times. Most part of the time, yeah, most of the, no, most of the time, okay. The weather is hot most of the time. And sometimes it rains a lot. Man, <laughs> let's make it more, I don't know, let's see. Give me an expression. Uh, okay, let's say gosh, a little fresa, okay? Uh, gosh, um, there are times when you don't know if, oh, you couldn't say if I, if you should, you don't know, hmm, you need an umbrella. Umbrella, double L. Okay. Okay, do you understand what it says? Look, they said, it says, oh, there's a lot to say about it. In El Salvador, the weather is hot most of the time. And sometimes it rains a lot. Gosh, there's there are times when you don't know if you need an umbrella to go out. Hmm. Okay, so what's there to say about the weather? What's there to say about, you know, Salvador, right? What's there to say about the salary in El Salvador? Can somebody try? Would you like to try? Or do you have, do you have questions about this? Do you what's, have questions? What's there to say about traditions in El Salvador? Oh, what's there to say about traditions? Uh-huh. And someone had to, someone had to tell about. <laughs> okay, someone has to answer. Okay, so Roselena is making a question, guys. What's there to say about traditions? Uh, let's say, what's there to say about Salvadorian traditions? Salvador, why is it not? Or or Maurice, Maurice, what's what's there to say about typical food? No <laughs> That's part of our <laughs> traditions. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Subduring food. Okay. Good. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Take the lead. Take the lead. Cheer up. <laughs> Take the lead. Tomen el mando. Teacher. Hey. Is Salvadoran or Salvadorian? Salvadorian. You pronounce Salvadorian. You write it Salvadoran, Salvadorian. Great. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. So what's there to say about Salvadorian food? There is a lot Excellent. to say about the Salvadorian traditional food. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of Delicious dishes. Dishes. <laughs> it's we, correct. Yeah. We have a lot of delicious dishes. For example, most, uh, most of them uh -huh. is are are, are make. Are with, made uh -huh. corn. with corn. 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 Okay. Corn. Good. Are made with corn. Mm -hmm. Or beans. And beans. Or beans. Uh huh. Corn or beans. Hey, that's true, right? Plantains, beans, corn. Uh huh. Continue. Elwin, good job. The pupusas is the most popular food 
Pupusas. Mm. Even, even the, the pupusas is the most popular. Pup what do you think, guys? Pupusas is or pupusas are? Are. 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 Yes, right. Are, are. the most popular. Yeah, because I said dishes before. We have lot. We have a lot of delicious dishes. Most of them are made with corn or beans. Pupusas are the most popular of them. Let's say pupusas are among the most popular. It's popular is the most popular. Okay. In so, Eastern, there hmm? are. Eastern, verdad? Semana Santa, verdad? Oh, in Eastern, yes. Mm -hmm. There are some special mm -hmm. dishes like, eh, no sé cómo sería, tortas de pescado. Torrejas, okay. <laughs> And you could say dry fish. Um, how do you say rellenos? Oh my God, fillers. I uh, can't remember. Torrejas and dried fish. You will say dried fish. Y jocotes en miel. <laughs> and jocotes and miel. Mango es en miel. Mango I'm sorry, jocotes. <laughs> Jocotes and mangoes. Jocotes and miel. That's just the word. Jocotes in honey. I don't think there's a word for jocote in English. Jocotes in honey um, for dessert. Okay, this is a good topic. So, what's there to say about Salvadorian food? There's a lot to say about the Salvadorian traditional food. We have a lot of delicious dishes. Most of them are made with corn or beans. Pupusas are among the most popular. In Eastern, there are some special dishes. Listen, some special, some special dishes like torrejas and dried fish. Mm, like torrejas, coma, dried fish and jocotes in honey for dessert <gasps> good job okay so let's start speaking make a question what's there to say about the salary in el salvador what's there to say about salvadorian food what's there to say about job opportunities in el salvador what's there to say about politics no 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 that's not getting to the politics okay about what's there to say about women in el salvador they're smart, they're beautiful. What's there to say about tourism? What's there to say about tourism in El Salvador? Okay, make it up. Be creative, okay? Be very creative and come up with a question for your group and then just talk, just talk, okay? okay. Let's do it. We are 14, but please guys, talk, 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 talk. Don't be afraid to speak. Okay, let's go. Let's get together. Let's get together right now. Oh, yeah. Be careful, Edwin. Drive safe. Hi. Hi. No, no entendí qué vamos a hacer. <gasps> Tenemos que hablar sobre un tema, sobre eh, cómo es eh, el clima, cómo es eh, los sitios turísticos, la comida. Los. What's there to say about law in El Salvador? So no. what's what's there to say? ¿Qué quiere decir? What's there to say? What's the meaning of 
What's there to say? ¿Qué se puede decir de? What's, what's there to say about? Mm -hmm. Okay, listen. What's there to say about law in El Salvador? ¿Qué se puede decir de la ley en El Salvador, de las leyes? <laughs> Malísimo. Okay, law. Mm, mm, okay, laws in El Salvador are laws in El Salvador need to change. Laws in El Salvador. I mean, I'm sorry. Law in El Salvador. Don't say laws. Solo hay una ley, right? Law in El Salvador needs to be changed. Law in El Salvador needs to be more fair. Hmm? Necesita ser más justa. Okay. And so on. Okay. What's there to, to say about touristic places in El Salvador? Touristic places. Make it up. El punto de eso es que tú te topes con una palabra que no sabes decir. Hmm. And then Google it. Right? And start using it. Good job. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not here. Entonces, de lugares turísticos. Beautiful Spanish. Yes. <laughs> uh, what there to say about... Teacher. Hey. I'm not here. And... <laughs> yeah, you're not here. <laughs> you're not there. <laughs> and... And now we have to talk about another topic. And the... The question was, what's there to say about the beach teacher, the beaches or the beach? The beaches in El Salvador. Okay, okay. About what beaches. What's there to say about the beaches in El Salvador? Beaches is correct, beaches. 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 Okay. What's there to say about the beaches on, in El Salvador? For example, we have we we can say uh, there are a lot of beaches. There are a lot of beautiful beaches in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. um, most popular. The most popular are the Puerto de la Libertad. Are in El Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, the most popular are in El Puerto in in yeah. the. In El Puerto de la Libertad. Because okay. the, name, the name of the municipality ah, okay. yes. is mm -hmm. El Puerto de la Libertad. Yes. The most popular are in the Puerto de la Libertad. In El Puerto de la Libertad. <laughs> okay. El nombre propio es El Puerto de la Libertad. El Puerto, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The most popular are in El Puerto. No, in El Puerto. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, Actually, we have a new highway, 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 yeah, highway. It actually, is a highway. We, okay, actually, we have we have a new a new highway that it's called Surf City. You say highway. Surf. Surf City. Surf. Surf. Es una e. Surf. 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 Surf City. Surf City. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, who continue? Okay, who can continue, Raúl? Uh, many, many beaches uh, are, are closed. Muchas playas quedan cerca. Many beaches are closed to the capital. To the, to the capital. Uh, we can uh, say, we can say it takes about a half an, no. Yeah. yeah, half an hour. Half an hour. About half to, an hour. To get there. To get there. Perfect. To get there. Yeah, to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue. Eric, Lorena. There are many weeds in the ocean. Come again, repeat. There are many weeds in the ocean there are many waves waves. waves waves yes there are great waves el salvador is famous for its waves 
in Salvador is famous for its waves. Its waves, waves, waves. Great. Okay, keep going. Waves. Okay. So in the east, uh, Salvador is famous for Oriente. Oriente. <laughs> no, it's como... You mean in, in English? In English. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, Google it really quick because I can... East. 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 The okay. East. So in the east of the country, we have beautiful beaches. Oh, there you say As towards... Mariendo. Towards the east. Towards... Towards the east. Hacia el oeste. Very good. Okay. Towards the east um, of the country, we have beautiful beaches, the Camarindo, El Cuco, and El Spin. Family hmm. Park is very nice in the night. Um, I. Eh, creo, eh, I believe. I believe. The place. Eh, ¿Cómo se diría? Es es lugar que está cerca. Pero, ¿no? Permíteme, ¿no? Estela. Perdón, voy a hacer una pausa. Eh, disculpe, Ernesto Gonven. Me parece, no sé si está con nosotros, Ernesto Gonven. Sí, sí. Teacher, sorry, es que no le he podido cambiar el nombre porque ah, me conecté al celular. Rafael, sí, Rafael Ernesto, sí. oh my god. Ok, espérame, ahorita te ayudo. Dame un segundo. Me, me asusté. I was like, what? Who's that? Oh my god. Ok. <laughs> ok, sorry, keep going, guys. Good job. Okay. Thank you. Hasta vine este grupo, mira, para ver qué pasó. I don't, I don't know the Golfo de Fonseca. Oh, really? Me neither. Yo tampoco. It's very, it's very good. Oh, go, oh, eh, go to San Miguel eh, Saturday because my brother is there. He was on Guatemala and in Guatemala. In Guatemala. And I I I I am uh, I want to 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 talk with him. I want to talk to 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 him. Him, him, him. I want to talk to him. Huh? Excellent. How's me? Tell me. Hi. What's there to say about San Miguel? Where do you live, Osmin? Here in Lourdes. <gasps> so, what's there to say about Lourdes? Edwin, Edwin also live in Lourdes. Oh, really? Yes, I live in Lourdes. In Nuevo Lourdes. What is the difference in Lourdes and New Lourdes? <laughs> New Lourdes. No, no. New Lourdes. New Lourdes. It's an, an small urbanization. Uh, that it is, it, that is, is still in in construction. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Yes. Is it going to Lourdes or is in Lourdes? Uh, Where is it located? It is going to Sonsonate. Oh, so it is past Lourdes. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Osmin. Yeah. What's there to say about Lourdes? Is Lourdes crowded? A lot of people. 
Is it crowded? Uh, I, I live in, in Lourdes, Campo Verde. I'm sorry, with your brother? In Sid Main. What? Good. I'm sorry, I live in Lourdes with. Repeat. Uh, well, my, yeah. I, lo I live in Lourdes with my husband, my. With my wife. wife. And, with and, my wife, okay. My wife. Yeah. Well, okay. And my son. Okay. So, yeah. what is there to say about Lourdes? ¿Qué, ¿Qué se puede decir de Lourdes? Esa es la pregunta. What is there to say? ¿Qué se puede decir de Lourdes? Lourdes is hot. Lourdes okay. is crowded. Está lleno de gente. Crowded. Populoso. Um, is a developed city. Lourdes is a developed city or an urban city? Uh, yes. Lourdes is urban city. It's oh, it's big. Yeah. It's big. It's big. big. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. How much? How, how much uh, people? It has much people. Many. Yeah. Much people. No. Many people. It has many people. Many. Many. Many people. Many people. Yeah. Okay. Plural. Plural. Yeah. Have, have many people. Mm -hmm. Um. Have a metro center. It uh, has a big mall. It has a big, big mall. mall. Uh, yeah. Good. Okay. That's Keep going. Uh, yeah. Uh, and also it is hot. And it, yeah, perfect. Also it is hot. Excellent. Okay. Make another question and answer it. Carla Vanessa, Jose Pereira, try it. Just one more minute, okay? Mm -hmm. Están mm -hmm. cuáles eh, costa, de Costa del Sol. El cuco. Ah, esto okay. acá sería. Uh -huh. el nombre siempre se mantiene. Ah, uh -huh. yes. La Costa del Sol, el cuco. Uh -huh. El tunco. El tunco. ¿Qué? Okay. Otra. Y um, eh, Surf City. Surf City. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tunco. El Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, el Espino. El Espino ah, también. Okay, good job. Actualmente son las más reconocidas, podríamos poner. Currently. Is correct. Currently. 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 La más conocida. O las más importantes. The most, the most important. O the And most famous, o las más famosas. The most famous, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Most, good. Por su atractivo turístico, no sé. O famous. Bye. Pongamos the, debido a do to D U E D U E D U D U E to do D U E D U E D U E D D D D D D D U E No, you are fine. D Okay, D is in Delta, uh -huh. U is an umbrella, E is an echo. D U E. Due en español. Due. 
Mm-hmm. Do two. There you go. Do two. Eso, teacher? eso significa debido a. Ah. Okay, currently the most famous due to what? Attractive. Sus olas. Por ejemplo. Due to, okay, como digo su de eso. It's. Due to its waves. Waves. W A. V V E E There you go S Okay currently the most famous due to its waves is in spectacular it's como se dice espectacular es espectacular an amazing sorprendente uh -huh. an amazing amazing Atardecer se dice igual a afternoon. Sunset. Together, together, yeah. It's one word, one word, sunsets. S, S, S. Amazing sunsets. Okay. Is? Or... Are those the most popular? Currently the most famous due to its waves and amazing sunsets. Eh, estás concluyendo. Y la comida deliciosa también. Wait, wait, wait. Estás concluyendo. Eh, let's see. There's much to say about the beaches of El Salvador because we have 45 beaches in the territory. Among the most recognized are La Costa del Sol, El Cuco, El Tunco, El Espino, and Puerto de Libertad. Currently, the most famous. Yeah. Due to its waves and amazing sunsets. Yeah. That's good. Oh. Great job. Okay, let's go. Let's go back. Okay. Hey, did you like that exercise? It's a good exercise, right? Yes. 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 The whole point, the whole point is for you to wonder about new vocabulary, like how do you say this, right? Okay. Now let's do, let's continue. Uh, what new words did you discover? Que nuevas palabras descubriste? Go to the chat, the Zoom chat, and type one word, just one word or one verb that you found. What's what the weather? ¿Cómo está el clima? What's the weather? Okay, type it, type it, type it. Go to the chat. Come on, type, 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 type. Let's use our fingers. Okay, Liz, do two. Mm -hmm. Golden sand. <laughs> yeah. Golden sand. Golden sand. Isn't it white sand? I would say it's white sand. But when you go to the Cameroon, uh, the sand is like golden, right? It's not white. What was the name of the Cameroon before? Salinitas, right? Salinitas? Oh. Yes. Hmm. You remember Salinitas. the zoo? Did you, did you meet the zoo? The zoo in Salinitas? Remember? Sure. The zoo, the zoo, the animals. Yes. Yes, there was a zoo. Mm -hmm. Many oh, monkeys. So logical, maybe. <laughs> Zoom. Many monkeys. A lot of monkeys, yes. <laughs> Gold sand. What what's the weather, Raul? What's apostrophe? What? Yeah, what apostrophe is? What's the weather like? Como es el clima? Okay, what's the weather like? Do two, do two, do you know what is do two? It's a connector. It's a connector to say debido a, do two. Among, entre, right? Okay, there you go. That's it. De, debido a, como se dice? Do two. 
Do two. It's on the chat. Do two. That's it. Son esas palabras que salieron. Are you really? Okay. Come on, guys. Okay, let's continue. Because we use just common words. Yeah. <laughs> Ese es el punto. Si no encontrás cómo decir algo, estás en tu grupo. Hey, preguntaré a alguien, guys. Do you know how to say um, carretera in English, right? Y to, si todos dicen que no, pues let's go to Google, okay? Carretera, okay? You will find many, many words. Okay, guys, so let's start with yesterday's practice. Let's start with yesterday's practice. We had a reading, we have a reading and then we have to identify any errors, any mistakes. So pay close attention, okay, to the reading. And for this, I will need your help. Mavis, give me a number from one to five. Give me a number from one to five, Mavis. Give me a number. Between one to five. One to five. One to five. One, two, three, four, five. What number, maybe? It's... Ah, four. Four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Michelle, you start. Okay. Um, hello, my name is John Wilson. Thank you. Let's continue with maybe. Okay. I work in an in an office repeat in i work office. i work in an office i working ah, que sale como separado, i work in an office repeat i work in an office i work in an office i work in an office in an in an in an office i working in i working in, in an office no. i i work in an office i work in an office better thank you raul ernesto I am a human resource manager. Repeat, I'm a human resources manager. I'm a human resources manager. One more time. I'm a human resources um, manager. I'm a human resources manager. Better, thank you. Okay, Carla Vanessa. Every day, I check emails for the company. Perfect. Okay, Jancy. I always answer the phone and tell to your potential employee. Repeat. I always answer the phone. I always answer the phone. Okay, one more time. I always answer. I always I always answer. Okay, Jancy, close your eyes. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Close your eyes. Listen and repeat. Close your eyes. Necesito verlo y no, you don't need to. Never. El peor error que puedes cometer es creer que eh, tenés que estar leyendo lo que estás repitiendo. Ojo todos, eh. Les he dicho en las sesiones privadas, tu cerebro se va a dar duro ahorita por leer las palabras tal y cual están escritas acá. Eso lo mejor que puedes hacer es adaptarlo. Solo listen and repeat. So close your eyes. Close your eyes. Come on, Jancy. Ok, okay. cuando hago esto en el salón y estamos así frente a frente, ahí sí se preocupa la gente. Come on, guys. We're virtually. Estamos virtualmente. Come on. Listen. Come on, Jancy. I always answer the phone. I always answer the phone. Ah, uh, uh, seguís leyendo. Come on, Jancy. No, no estoy leyendo. Uh -huh. Repeat. <laughs> I always answer the phone. I always answer the phone. Uh -uh. Answer. 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 I, answer. I always answer. answer. I always answer, answer the phone. I always answer the phone. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. <laughs> Jancy, I always answer yeah. the phone. 
I always answer. It answer. I always answer the phone. And talk to potential employees. And talk to potential employees. Excellent. Better. One more time. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. <laughs> I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Ooh, good. Repetition. That's the key. Okay. Good job. Yes. Let's go with Raúl Ernesto. Raúl se movió. Okay. Maybe it's just a movie. Otra vez. Carla, Vanessa, Michelle. Okay. Roselena. Okay. Generally. My God. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Good. Repeat. Generally. Generally. Yeah. The stress. The stress is in ge generally. Generally. Perfect. Okay. Generally. Thank you. Liz. God. Okay, Liz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my company. In my company, we always have events. 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 Ayer también me costó decir eso. <laughs> In my company, we always have events. We always have events, have events, have events. In my company, we always have in event. have events. Events, 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 events. Suena más a e que i. Okay, events, very good. Okay. Rafael Ernesto, Rafael Antonio. Okay. okay. Go, Rafa. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I'm always busy. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Good job. Now, look at the sentences. Let me give you an example. His name is John Wilkins. Is that correct or incorrect? Incorrect. What's his name? Is John Wilson. John Wilson, yes, it's true. Okay, keep going. He writes reports every day. Incorrect. Incorrect? False. False. Yes. False. What why? False. What's the right sentence? What does he do every day? He checks emails. He checks emails for the company. Okay. Yeah. He never answers the phone and talk to customers. Correct. False. Correct false. or false? False. false? false. Why? False. What does he really do? Listen, what does he really do? He always answers the phone and talk to potential employees. Very good, employees. Okay, he often attends meetings in the morning. False. 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 No, it's true. It's true. It's true. He often yes. attends meetings in the mornings. Yes. In the morning and not so often in the afternoon. I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. He often attends meetings in the morning. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true, right? I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Good. It's true. Okay. He never attends. Okay. He. Oh, yes. This is another one, right? He never attends meetings in the afternoon. True or false? False. Well, yeah, he he doesn't attend meetings so often, right? So often in the afternoon. He usually has events in his company. False. Why? Because the events are always. Okay, because they always attend events. Events. They always attend events. Okay, they always have events, I'm sorry. He has to go to, to a conference on July 22nd. 
Yes, it's true. True? Oh, true. Yeah. Mm. About the comfort. No, no, it is false. Listen, we have to attend a conference on July 21st. And oh, yes, then yes. we have to attend a meeting about the conference okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh, on July 22nd. Did you get it? Yeah. Entendieron todos eso? So it says we have to attend a meeting, a conference, I'm sorry, on July 21st. El 21 de julio tenemos que atender una conferencia, okay? And then we have to attend a meeting. Tenemos que atender una meeting. Tenemos una meeting acerca de la conferencia el 22 de julio. Ok. Para hablar acerca de la conferencia el 21 de julio. Ok. Good. So, now, listen. Read the conversation and then we practice really quick, but, yeah. Ok. I really need that memo brain. I really need that memo brain. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away, right away, right away. It's very important. I really need to. So these are expressions to state the urgency, the urgency, urgency. It's not urgency or urgency, no. Urgency, 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 okay? I really need that memo brain. What do you understand by that? I really need that memo brain. Es muy importante. Y realmente <laughs> lo necesito. <laughs> realmente lo necesito. Okay, I really need that memo brain. Okay, just a moment, please. Edwin, come on, Edwin. <laughs> Ajá. Me acabo de sentir como cuando mis niños estaban en las primeras clases virtuales. Pobres profesores, Dios mío. No es que la mayoría no sabía utilizar Zoom. Era como, oh my God. Ajá. Come on. So I need to speak to, I need to speak to Eric, please. It's very important. Okay, guys. Eric, do you understand that? Yeah, it's, las expresiones, well, la expresión más urgente, entiendo que es, it's very important. Esto ustedes de hecho lo aplican. It's very important. Es muy lógico. Ahora, right away. ¿A qué le suena right away? Ahorita mismo. Utualito. Right away. Para luego es tarde. Right away. Ok. Now, I'm going to stop. En, en lugar de seguir con los necessary adverbs, quiero que vean el siguiente email. Y quiero que nos fijemos. Um, in the structure, okay? Look at the structure of an email, okay? First, of course, on the header of the email, on the header of the email, you have, who is it going to? Who is it for? for? And you say from you, right? Who is sending the email? You, so it is from your email. And then two, who is receiving the email, right? Do you understand Heather? Yes? Yes. Raul? Yes? No. no. Yes. Okay. What is the Heather, um, Carla Vanessa? Encabezado. El encabezado, very good. So okay. on the Heather of the email, you have from, to, and then the subject, which mm -hmm. should be brief, brief. Okay, can somebody give me an example of a subject? Oh, look at that, very important. Tasks for this month. Tasks, tasks, tasks for this month. Okay, can somebody give me another example of a subject? 
No, okay. Um, I could say meeting on July 22nd. You just put the meeting on July 22nd. Okay. Uh, you could say inventory um, schedule, inventory schedule. Agenda de inventario, right? Horario de inventario, right? So, from, listen, Daniel Ruiz at, listen, at Travers, what Travers, that, that come. So I said, at, and that come. Creo que habíamos hablado de esto un poco antes, ¿no? Yes. At. Yes. Arroba dot para el punto en los correos. Okay. So let's continue. And then you open. You open with a salutation. A greeting. I'm sorry, guys. There's a lot of noise. Okay, so salutation, a greeting. Okay, hello, or dear Guadalupe, dear Vanessa, dear Mavis. Okay, and you go to the point, go straight to the point. Okay, because if you say good morning or good afternoon, um, is that person going to read the email? in the morning or the afternoon. Si me entienden, si pones buenos días, buenas tardes, esa persona no sabe si va a leer el correo en ese momento, right? ¿Qué? En lugar de eso, puedes ocupar ese ejemplo. Dear Mrs. Don't forget the titles. Eso le falta este correo. Dear Guadalupe, dear Mrs. Guada Mrs. Oh, por cierto, recuerda que los títulos van con los apellidos, ¿verdad? Dear Mrs. Lopez, dear Mrs. Milla. Ok. Ok, and then you go straight to the point. Vas directo al grano, straight to the point. There, yes. are, there are some of the tasks. These are some of the tasks yeah. for this month. And then you start describing the issue, go to the point, and at the end, at the end, thank you. Best regards. And then race. Richard, I can hear you. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, someone is having a lot of noise on their background. Hay mucho ruido en el background de alguien. Okay. Eh, chicos, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta con, con esto del correo? Y me he detenido un minuto porque... Siempre me ocurre que en, el, en los grupos siempre hay alguien que ocupa correos y los tiene que escribir en, en inglés. En um, cierta ocasión alguien me dijo que trabajaba para una aerolínea en el departamento de contabilidad y me, me mandó un correo que tenía que escribirle a una, a una pasajero que se le hizo un reembolso y eran puras palabras técnicas y no hay nada como hacer para, para escribir el correo y pues que me tocó traducírselo yo y le cobré 100 dólares no pa, se lo, solo se lo traduje y se lo envié no crean, no no le, no le cobro, no se preocupen si sí, ya me ha tocado casos de, de personas que me dicen mire, tradúzcame este caso legal o este caso de, uh, por ejemplo una denuncia ante la policía y ya son a uh, papeles oficiales y en los que, pues ni modo, me toca poner mi nombre ahí de que yo traduje eso. Richard, yo hago diligencias de traducción de partidas de defunción, partidas de matrimonio, de nacimiento de salvadoreños que han nacido allá y que quieren escribir acá. Y me lo hace un perito que está como sí. afiliado a la embajada, ¿verdad? En, en la embajada americana. Claro, eso ya es otro rollo. Ahí sí necesitas ya tener el peritaje, estar acreditado. Y yo nunca he hecho eso, la verdad. No sé, sería una buena idea. Es una Hágalo, teacher. Y yo le paso todas las traducciones. ¡Ah! No me queda tiempo. No me queda tiempo. Ahorita, ok. So, questions on an email. 
Uh -huh. So, okay, if there are no questions, no preguntas, ya te sabes esto, super bien, super good, okay. Read the email and organize the activities what Lupe needs to do by importance. ¿Qué es lo más importante que tiene que hacer Guadalupe? Take your time, read the email. Oh, cannot see it. Is and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. My God. Okay. So what is more urgent? What is the most urgent? Activity. Send the two latest sales report on May 26th and, and then write a new welcome letter for the new customer. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports latest. on May 26th. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Is that true? There's no date on this thing. No tiene fecha esta cosa. Okay. Hmm. ¿Quién está de acuerdo? May 26. It's very important to send the two latest sales reports on May 26 and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. The most urgent is a um one day. Yes, it's true. You have one day to do it, four hours. I think that's the most urgent. Yes. Let me choose a color and that's it to move on really quick. So okay. The most urgent, you are right. It's very important send the two latest sales reports on May 26 and then write a new welcome letter for the new customers. You have one day to do it, four hours. That's the most important. And then In this example is a June 25. Mm. Could be. Podría ser que sea el 26 de junio, de mayo, no, el 25. Oh, oh, May 25. 20, 25, yeah. 25th. Uh-huh, 25th. 25th. Oh, because it says you have because, one day to do it. One day, one day and for all hour. Puede ser, it could be, could be. Que es el 25 de mayo. Okay. Okay, what's the second most important thing? ¿Cuál es la segunda cosa más importante en este listado de acciones? Somebody. For me, it's, I really uh, 
really need like all the new clients from the last three weeks and give them catalog information for the night you, you have today. Because it says you have two days ah, to do it. Days. One hour each day. You have two days to do it. One hour each day. Tienes dos días para hacerlo, una hora cada día. So it's más urgente, tengo menos tiempo. So, prácticamente tengo dos horas nada más para hacerlo. Una hora cada día. Each day. One hour each day. Ok. And then. Visit the two store in Santa Tecla. Ok. Visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it. Two hours each day. Entonces tengo cuatro horas para hacer eso. Ok. And the last one. Contact the first three potential customers. Yeah, contact the three, the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Sanchez. You have three days to do it, three hours each day. Okay. Hasta demasiado tiempo para contactar a tres clientes. Good. So red number one, yellow number two, blue number three, and pink number four. Teacher. Mm -hmm. um, um, what do you say? I, I want, quiero, quiero que me aclare o como? <laughs> I want you to clear okay. out for me. I want you to clear out for me. Mm -hmm. In the second uh, line, say call the new clients for the last three weeks and give them the catalog information. Call, oh, call the new clients from the last three weeks mm -hmm. and give them the catalog, catalog, catalog information. Okay. information for June. Okay. Yeah, it's all the whole sentence, right? Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give mm -hmm. them the catalog information for June. Sí, llama a los clientes de las últimas tres semanas y dales el catálogo de información o el catálogo informativo de junio. Tienes dos días para hacerlo, una hora cada día. Está bien loco esto, porque una hora cada día para hacer todo eso, llamar a todos los clientes de las últimas tres semanas. Y en cambio tengo... Pienso que tiene dos días para hacer eso, solo que cada día tiene que invertir solo una hora. Correcto. Imagínate en la primera actividad, you have three days to do it, three hours each day. ¿Para qué? Para llamar a los primeros tres clientes potenciales de la lista del señor Sánchez. Tienes tres mm -hmm. días, tres horas por día, demasiado tiempo. Mm -hmm. por día. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Yeah. Thank you. Y qué bonito tener un jefe así, vea. <risa> Lindo. Te ayuda a organizarte, ser disciplinado. Tenía un amigo que trabajaba con japoneses y así me decía que le tocaba. Men, si no te imaginas, uy, a mal me cae, creen que soy tonto, me dice. Cada cosa que voy a hacer, me dice, usted tiene tanto tiempo para hacer esto. Y así tenía que hacer y si no lo cumplía. Y una vez fue a una entrevista a la... Ay, 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 ¿Cómo es que se llama? Hit, hit. Eso me olvidó. Es la embajada japonesa. La embajada de, para la parte de cooperación internacional cuando estaba estudiando. Llegué, todo limpio, una mesa en el centro con sillas alrededor y una silla estaba mal puesta debajo de la mesa. Llegó la embajadora y metió la silla y me dijo, I'm sorry for the mess. Lo siento por el desorden. Yo. Oh my God. <ríe> Solo eso era estado de locos pero anyways no, no, okay. no, no, it's ok le dije yo no hay problema de hecho me esperé a que me dijera tome asiento que ella me ubicara donde quería que me sentara si sí, va, está sudando yo sabes, ok 
son muy estrictos con la limpieza, el orden. It's very important for them, for Japanese. So, they are min minimalist. Minimalists, yes, and that's the best thing. Es lo mejor que tienen, mucha, tienen mucha disciplina. Discipline, exactly. Discipline. Ellos dicen que prefieren a alguien disciplinado a alguien inteligente. Imagínate. Good. What are some of your obligations at your workplace? Antes de movernos, chicos, I'm sorry. Let me stop for a minute. I just forgot. One, two, three. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Están aquí las sisters, ¿verdad? Hoy? Hmm. Primero Dios que estén bien. Okay. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Here. Thank you. Edwin Rolando Méndez, chicas. Edwin Rolando Méndez, chicas. He's there. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Thank you. Estela Veraliz y Wenza Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Flora Lorena Chávez Campos. Here. Thank you. Gilberto Elí Mendoza Rosales. Here. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. As well. Okay. Jose Angel Pereira Romero. Here. Thank you. Carla Vanessa Garcia de Perez. Here. She's there. Okay. Maybe Sivet Mia Contreras. Here. Thank you. Okay. Osmin Baires Olorzano. Here. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez Ventura. Here. Thank you. Raúl Ernesto Campos Gonzalez. Here. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Veronica Lisset Sanchez Perez. Here. Vilma Ide Sorto Escobar. Present. Thank you. Yancy Lisbeth Hernandez Mejia. Here. Thank you. And Janet Magdalena Morales Gomez. Present. Excellent. Okay. Denme un segundo, chicos. Okay. ¿Dónde está Yancy? Oh my God, there she is. Okay, good. Siempre acuérdense de tener su nombre completo, please. Antes de que no vayan a jalar el aire. There you go. Okay, good. Déjenme revisar rapidito porque hoy tenemos una sesión privada como todos los días. Okay, pero no me acuerdo quién sigue en el listado. Give me just a minute. Just Yo a minute. estoy de día a día, teacher. Who? Who's in me? Perdón, no nos estaba viendo. Raúl, I think. Edwin? Yo, teacher, Raúl. Ah, Raúl, Raúl ok. Good. Let me double check. And yes, miércoles 10 de marzo de 10 a 10 y 10 pm, Raúl Ernesto Campos, mañana, iría con Gloria, no está hoy, ok. Good, so let's continue, guys. With necessity adverbs, necessity verbs, I'm sorry. Ok, so let's express obligations or needs at the workplace. When you need something done, when algo hecho. Okay, what are some of your obligations at your workplace? Eric, what are some of your obligations? Tidy. Ah. <laughs> Ojo, Tidy <José>. taxes. <laughs> okay, take the taxes. Or pay the taxes. Type. Uh, oh, type. For report, for report. Type. Yes. Okay, you type the taxes. Mm, okay, good. Jose Angel, what are some of your obligations at your workplace? Uh, my case, uh, re review the all information account. All accounting information. Review all the accounting information. Okay. Yes. Good. Gilberto, what are some of your obligations at your workplace? 
write write code for application. Write co codes. Source code. Source code. Source codes. Source codes. Source code. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow. Yes. That's really crazy. That's really <laughs> heavy. Okay. Okay. So you said you write source source. Repeat source codes. Source source codes. Uh huh. So source. This, source like this. Source. Source codes. Source. There you go, source codes. Source, source codes. Write source codes for applications. Really? Wow. Yes, really. Do you like it? So yes, are, like are, you a, are you an apps creator? Are you an apps creator? Can you create applications? Yes. Uh, really? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Minel application oh. uh, for parents and teachers. Oh, oh. oh my god. <laughs> another level. Another level. <laughs> I, I just I just used it. Lo acabo de utilizar. Hecho, yeah. That was you, ese fuiste tú. Listen, that was you. Really? Okay. Y qué tal aplicaciones para celular? No fácil. Oh, todo es web based. Todo es web. No sé cómo es en inglés, pero no. Ahora hay híbridos. Oh, ok. Ok. Pero... No, no son web, son eh, híbridos. Uh -huh. APKs. Uh -huh. Ah, no, es. Uh -huh. like o sea, hay híbridos para. Se programa una vez y se compila para iOS o Android. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. hmm. la nueva moda. Hablaremos. Ok, very good. <laughs> yeah. Estoy trabajando en algo, pero necesito llegar a ese punto de ya crear la aplicación. Voy a necesitar a alguien que me ayude. Like a lot. Ok, we'll see. Good. Um, Rafael, what are some of your obligations at your workplace? I do everything the boss is supposed to do. <laughs> okay. Is that true, Jose? <laughs> Where's Jose? He's Maya not. Question. He left. I'm joking. I'm joking. How, how do you say contabilizar? Oh, man. Hmm. Hmm. I see account uh, or record, record, record. Yeah, to record. record. There's got to be a different I way. Re mm -hmm. I record the financial operation. I record the financial operations. I record the financial operations. Yeah, that sounds right. OK, good. So let's listen to the following conversation and then we will practice just here, okay, together. Listen, Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. One more time. And is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, 
I have to provide important information to the customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Let's go with Janet Magdalena and Stella Verali. Okay. Okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Stella. Okay, help me, Vilma, please, feel my day. <clears throat> yes, I surely. Mm -hmm. I need to call some clients and you. Okay, well, keep going. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to reschedule the meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, thank you to back. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Some interesting. Good. Okay. Interesting. Good. Okay. Listen and repeat. Actually. 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 Okay. Call. 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 La lengua enrollada hacia atrás. Call. 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 Clients. 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 Okay. Reschedule. 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 Mm -hmm. Repeat. Reschedule. Reschedule. Despacio. Res. Reschedule. Okay. Yo. Yo. Reschedule. Reschedule. There Reschedule. You go. Reschedule. Very good. Reschedule. Next. You don't say tomorrow. Tomorrow. You say tomorrow. 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 Okay. Tomorrow. Now this you say canceled. 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 They, they were canceled today. They were canceled today. They were canceled. They were canceled today. They were very canceled. good. They were canceled. Now today. expressions. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, oh that's too bad. That's too bad. Oh, no, that's too bad. Okay, and last one. Interesting. 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 Good. Very good. Okay, mm -hmm. let's go with Lorena Isik, um, Vanessa, and Liz. If your camera is off, then you come to the front. Okay. Bani, ¿quién es usted? Just start. Doesn't matter. It's okay. Vanessa is me, Carla Vanessa? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, who first? Doesn't matter. Hola. Hi, I'm Ann. Yo soy Ann. Okay. 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 Ann, Ann, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's so that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. That's all interesting. Okay, that sounds interesting. 
interesting. Okay. Repeat. Reschedule. 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 Hmm. How can you write it? Reschedule. 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 This is just the pronunciation, okay? Okay. Nothing to do with English. It's just the pronunciation. Reschedule. 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 There you go. Reschedule. Very good. Um, and the other one, interesting. 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 So you focus on the stress, on the stress of the syllable, and you say in. Right? Interesting. Now, you don't say tres, tres. Intre interesting. Interesting. That's it. Okay. Like this. Interesting. Interesting. There you go. Interesting. You got it. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. So interesting. So interesting. Mm. Easy. <laughs> okay, guys. Good job. So how do Anne and John express their obligations? How do they express their obligations? How do they do it? Can somebody point at the obligations? Let's do something. Um, so you have enabled, you have enabled the annotations. So you can see, so grab a line, go ahead. Can you underline, come on, what? underline the words that describe their obligations. Go, take, take control. Tomen su, vayanse a annotate o notas en su Zoom y pueden manchar ahí el pizarrón. ¿Cuáles son las obligaciones? ¿Cómo se expresan las obligaciones en este diálogo? Underline, subrayar. Go ahead with your finger. Ana Michelle, thank you. Need to do. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Good. Hmm? Someone else. Need to call. Ana Michelle, I have to reschedule. Good. Have to, very good. Rafael, have to provide. Okay. Good. That's it, right? I need to, I have to, I have to. Yeah, very good. That's it, you see, very simple. Así es como se expresan las obligaciones eh, en base a la urgencia, no? So, verbs to express obligations or needs. Have to, need to. Okay, have to, need to. I have to prepare a document for my boss. I need to prepare a document for my boss. So, let's take a look at that part. Yeah, how? Let me show you. Okay, so let's make a little chart. Here, you will have a subject. Okay, you will have a subject on this side. And then we're going to have some verbs that we're gonna call verbs of necessity. How do you move the text sideways? Vamos a mover el texto de lado. No me acuerdo. It's not here. I cannot find it. Okay, good, let's leave it like that. So, 
Verbo de necesidad, chicos. You have, have, need. Ok. Lo voy a dejar en minúsculas porque tendría lógica. Have, need, want, like, love. Ok. Ahora vamos a dejar claro una cosa. ¿Sí? Con cualquiera de estos verbos de necesidad, según yo le llamo, o he visto que otros teachers le llaman y me ha parecido buenísima la idea de llamarle verbos de necesidad. ¿Ok? Yo solo voy a tener dos opciones. ¿Ok? Primera opción. Agregar una preposición to. ¿Usaste esto hoy? O... Ah, pues no está descartada. No preposition. Ok. Si yo, ¿de qué, de, ¿de qué dependerá que yo siga o continúe con una preposición acá? Si lo que voy a agregar acá, ok, es un verb, es un verbo. Lo que pasa es que algo le has tocado. Ok, so, si lo que voy a agregar acá es un verb, un verbo. Entonces ocupo la preposición to. Si lo que yo voy a agregar acá es un noun, no necesito una preposición. ¿Got it? ¿Estamos claros con eso? Yes. Ok. Excellent. Right now. So, ¿cómo hago esto? Uy, qué feo ese color. Me one second. So, ¿cómo diría entonces yo necesito pupusas? A mí me gustan las pupusas. ¿Cómo diría? Uh -huh. I like pupusas. There you go. I like. No necesito la preposición. Solo digo el nombre. Pupas. I like pupas. A mí me gustan las pupusas. Ok. No necesito el tú acá. Cuidado, eh. I like tu pupusas. Mm. No. Ok. I don't need that. Ok. Another example. Yo necesito nadar. Um, let's see. Ella necesita nadar. She needs to swim. Excellent. Continúo respetando la tercera persona. Ok. Needs. She needs. No se puede. Ok. She needs to swim. Ahí sí. Agrego la preposición to. Y agrego el verbo. She needs to swim. Parecerá tonto que esté explicando esto de esta manera, pero créanme, es un área de oportunidad de muchas personas. So just keep an eye on that. Tener presente eso. She needs to swim. Ok. Yo tengo que pagar la luz. Yo tengo que pagar el recibo de la electricidad. ¿Hm? Rafa, yo tengo que pagar. I have to pay. I have to pay the electricity bill. The bill. The electricity bill. I have to pay the electricity bill. Good. En teoría suena fácil, ¿eh? Pero tomar en cuenta lo que continúa es un verbo. Ah, pues la preposición. Ok. So, amo verte sonreír. I love you. I love you. I love, I love to see I you. Love, I love. Do you know? Yeah, I love. Yeah. 
Ah, yes, I love to see you. Love. No, I love to, but. I love to see you smile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, G give me your examples. En cambio, como diría, me encantan los amaneceres. I like you. Me encantan los amaneceres. I love the... Oh, I, oh, I love the... No. I love the sunrise. Excellent. I love the sunrise. When I, I love the sunrise. I love the sunrise. Um, actually, see, I love I love sunrises. I love sunrises. In general, I love the sunrises, or I love the sunrise in the beach. I love the sunrise in the beach, at the beach. I love the sunrise at the beach. Okay. So, what am I saying, guys? Have, tener que, need. Necesitar, want, querer, like, ya saben qué es, gustar, love, encantar, amar, right? Por eso son de necesidad. ¿Cuál será más importante? Más prioritario, más bien. I have to. Yes, to have to. Y en segundo lugar. Ok. Need. 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 Necesitar. Ok. Tercer lugar sería want. Ok. Cuarto lugar yo diría love y luego el quinto like. Porque hay una diferencia entre que ames hacer algo y que te guste hacer algo, ¿no? Ok. Questions. Ok, si no hay preguntas, I don't know why you're just so quiet, but it's ok. So, vamos a crear súper rápido um, una conversación corta, unas cinco líneas nada más, ok? Together, as a group. I will say, talk. Just talk to your classmates about the things that you have to do. Ok, si se, no, si se fijan en su... Um, Libro, eso es prácticamente lo que continúa. Let me show you. En su libro hay unos cuadros de activities. What about, write about something you have to or need to do these days. Lo que yo les he enseñado es un poco más de vocabulario. You can say like to, okay, I want to, okay, or need to do these days. When. So you could say, Michelle, how can you say el viernes, right? Remember? On Friday. On Friday, good. Fridays. On Friday, okay. At what time, Michelle? Um, at 8 a.m. At 8 a.m., good. Where? In the office. So what would be the activity? Have a meeting with my boss. Okay. I have a meeting with my boss. Don't say I have to meeting, right? I have to have a meeting. I have a meeting. Okay. And then you go with the list, right? Activities you have to do or need to do in your job. Then interview two classmates and write the activities they have to do or need to do. Okay. In accounting, today is the 10th. When is the deadline? Rafael, eh, Jose Angel, Jancy, Eric. What is the deadline for the payroll? What's the deadline for the payroll? Thank you. 
on Friday 12. Friday 12? Yes. Okay. What's the payroll's deadline? Okay. Oh, you can also say due date. Okay, what's the payroll's due date? What's the payroll's due date? El corte, right? De la... How do you say payroll in Spanish? Oy, el gringo. Planilla. <laughs> what's the payroll's due date? Bien. Okay, so let's go and do the activities that you have closer. Okay, on Friday, on Thursday, I have two, you have two, she has two. Questions? No. Okay. Talk, 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 talk. You first? Hi, your name? Hi, Osmin. Yes, Janet. Yeah. Who is the first? Hi, hi, hi. Who's first? Osmin? Yes. Okay, go ahead. What? Okay, I will ask you to make questions to your classmates. Um, huh. Osmin, what do you have to do on Friday? What do you have to do on Friday? What do you need to do? What do you need to do on Friday? Uh -huh. ¿Qué tienes que hacer el viernes? Okay. Uh, in Friday, I'm going to... hmm. Ahí está el punto. No vamos a ocupar futuro, que es lo que la mayoría ya ha de conocer o, o presente continuo. No es going to, sino I have to on Friday at 10 a.m. I have a meeting. I have to print, I have to print the payroll. I have to paint the office on Friday at 12, at 12 noon. I have, I have a lunch. I have a lunch with my boss. Okay. Okay. In, in Friday, uh, I have uh, uh, every 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 work hmm. in my office. I have to work. Okay, on in Friday. My, in my in my work. Um, also, um, uh, check the report. For I, my boss. I need to check the reports. For I, my boss. I need to check the report for my boss. Okay. Right. So, recordemos, ¿qué es lo que estamos haciendo? Todos, todos. Vamos a ocupar lo que hemos visto. I have to, digo un verbo. I have a meeting. Okay. I have a meeting. Okay. I need to prepare. I need to prepare a report. Okay. Esos son los dos que nos pide el libro. I need to and I have to. Ya sea con un verbo o con un noun. Okay. Si lo que voy a decir es un noun, no necesito la preposición to. Solo voy con el noun. A meeting, a visit. I have a visit from the auditors de los auditores, from the auditors. Tengo una visita de los auditores. Right, Jancy? Oh my God. Okay. 
Okay. Try. Eh, atender is attend. 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 Uh -huh. I have to attend. Eh, on Saturday at 1 p.m. I have attend. I I have to. I have to see. I have to attend. My business. Tengo que atender mi negocio. Perfect. You can also say take care of. También se puede take care of. I have to attend. I have to take care of my business. Suena mejor de hecho. I have to take care of my business. Tengo que encargarme atender de mi negocio. Good. Do you run a business? No. Do you run a business? Run. ¿Tienes un negocio? Yes. Oh, good. What is it? ¿De qué? Es una tienda. Mm. Es okay. un, como un mini super. Oh, my God. Ya quiero ir a San Miguel. Ok. <laughs> Good. Ok. Keep going. Keep going. Let's continue. At 7 o'clock. At. Ah, ok. At 7. Oh, pero si ocupo at, siempre puedo utilizar 7 o'clock. At 7. Sí. A las. No, o'clock. Bueno, que sí. Es en punto, sí. Correcto. And Monday at 7 o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I have to or I need to. Need to. I need to. ¿Qué, acti ¿Qué actividad van a hacer a las 12 el lunes? Necesitamos conectarnos a la clase de inglés. On Monday at, oh my God, at 8 o'clock. On Monday at 8 o'clock, we mm -hmm. need to connect to the English class. We need to be in the English class. Um, okay, do you have questions with this? Tienen alguna pregunta con esto? Eh, si era en el orden que aparece en el cuadro. Mm -hmm. When, what, when I, where? Ese es el orden de urgencia, ¿no? Eh, mm -hmm. Pero eh, lo que nos pide libre es have to, need to. Ahora, okay. comprendemos que para decir el verbo Ok, aquí solo estoy diciendo yo tengo que, yo necesito tal cosa. O sea, yo tengo que llevar a cabo esta acción. Yo necesito llevar a cabo esta acción, el verb. Los verbos son acción. So, um, I have to be, I have to be in the English class. Tengo que estar en la clase de inglés. I have to be. I need to be in the English, in the English class. Necesito estar en la clase de inglés. Entonces, cualquiera de los dos es válido utilizarlo en este caso. Sí, sí. O tenés que o necesitas. Which is different, mm -hmm. right? Tener y necesitar son dos cosas diferentes. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es más urgente? Have, tener, es una obligación. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, okay. nuestra oración, ¿cómo quedaría más o menos planteada, teacher? I need to be in the English class or I have to be. Have to be or need to be. We need, I need, you need in the English class. Um, okay. Sin I embargo, need to be. Uh -huh. Sin embargo, tengo clase de inglés. I have, tengo una clase de inglés. I have an English class on Monday. Okay, tengo una clase de inglés el lunes. Let me do this bigger and make it smaller. Okay. So, I have an English class on Monday. Aquí ya no ocupo el tú. Ya no digo, mm -hmm. I have to English class, no. I have two English class. No, I have an English class. El noun, el nombre es esto. 
An English. An English class. Ok, como les decía en el cuadrito. Ok, I have, no necesito la preposición y luego el nombre. An English class. ¿Por qué an, teacher? Una clase de inglés. Puedo eliminarlo, fíjate. Puedo decir, tengo clase. No, no es necesario que diga, tengo una clase. Tengo clase. I English class. Tengo clase. I have English class on Monday. Tengo mm -hmm. clase de inglés. Ya no digo una clase de inglés. I have English class. Good. Mm -hmm. I have o sea, no tenemos que ocupar necesariamente el orden de como when, what time y where. Ah, claro que sí, según el ejemplo. Ok. Hay que ocupar lo que dice ahí. When. Ok. On Monday at mm -hmm. what eight, time sería 8 o'clock. Ajá. Where in in the English class. On Monday at 8 o'clock at home. Here. I have English class. Thank you. On mm -hmm. Monday at 8 o'clock at home, I have English class. So good idea. Yeah. I have to be in the English class. I have to be in English class. Ok, ahora okay. el punto es ese, ¿no? Entender la diferencia entre have to, need to, un verbo. Have, un, un, y solamente el nombre. Need, solamente el nombre. Okay. Una pregunta. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Buscar cómo sería en inglés? Look for. Look for. I need to look for more information. I need to look for her. Cuando uh -huh. dice wanted. Want. Oh. Wanted. El más buscado. En realidad esto es en el contexto de el más querido, digamos, pero por la ley. Wanted. Solo en ese contexto. Wanted. The most wanted. El más buscado. Solo ahí se, se ocupa eso. Yes. Claro. Sí, sí, claro. En ese contexto de buscado, sí. Solo en ese contexto. El más wanted. Ya como verbo en pasado sería wanted. I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you. Quería decirte. Mm. Ok. Ok. Just wanted. Good. Any other question? No. No? Okay. You know what? I let's know. let's go back and play together. Tun, 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 tun. Okay, go on your notebook. Thank <laughs> you. 
Necesito comer. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Maybe like the sun teacher. Yep, I, yep, yep, yep. I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to miss. Oh. A thing. <laughs> I don't want to miss. A thing. Can stay awake. <laughs> yes. Just to hear you breathing. Okay. One minute. One minute. She'll be easy. You know what? Let me start because we only have four minutes. Okay. Number one, quiero saber lo que lo que es el amor. I want to know what love is. Easy, easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to know what love is. Excellent. Jose creo que estaba hablando, no? Oh, what's mean? I yes. want, yeah. I want to Hello. know. Excellent. We can hear you. Yes. I want to know what love is. Okay. I want to know okay. what love is. Uh huh. Necesito decirte algo. I know to tell say you something. Osmin, I, I, I need to say algo. What do I you need say? to say something. Ah, okay. I need, I, I need to say something. Bien, y ese es el punto de, de esta clase. Necesito separar los verbos. No puedo tener dos verbos juntos. Entonces, I need, si tú dices I need to say something, necesito decir algo, ok, pero no solo say, esto, esto es de manera general, I need to say something, a toda la clase le estaría diciendo algo, y decirte algo, Michen, say. Yes. Hey, you. you said it, right? I need to say, yes, I need to tell you something, I need to tell you something, I need to tell you something. Very good. Necesito decirte algo. Tienes que saber algo. Tienes que saber algo. Tú tienes que saber algo. You need to know something. Necesitas saber algo. You need to know something. You have to need something. Necesitas saber algo. You need to know something. You have. You have to need something. Oh, you have. Yes. You have to know something. Hey, you have to know something. Sé por qué va entre los verbos porque sería necesito pues necesitar y decir son dos verbos por eso ponen tú. Exacto. Okay, tengo que hablar contigo. I have to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I need to talk. Necesito hablar contigo. I need to talk to you. I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you. Ahora bien, necesitamos hablar. We need to talk. We need to talk. We need to talk. Okay. Ya no hablamos más. We don't talk anymore. Tengo que irme temprano, le decís al jefe. I have to go. I have to go. I have to go to early. Early. I have to leave. Yeah. I have to go early. I have to leave early. Okay, yo amo hablar inglés. I like to speak English. I like. I love. I love. Oh, cool. I, love. I, 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 love, I love, love to speak English. <laughs> I love to speak English, yes. There you go. I love to speak English. Good, guys. Great job. Okay, let's finish today. And please, Raul, yes, you need to stay, right? I think, yeah. Okay, let's go with the attendance one more time. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. 
Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Here. Okay. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Okay. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Estela Veralis Iguenza Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Flora Lorena Chávez Campos. Here. Thank you. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Here. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Jose Angel Pereira Romero. It was around. Carla Vanessa Garcia de Perez. Here. Thank you. Maybe Sivet Mia Contreras. Here. Osmin Vires Solorzano. Here and good night. Good night, Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here, good night. Good night, Raúl Ernesto Campos González. Present. Thank you, Raúl. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Here, bye bye. Bye bye. Vilma Ide Sorto Escobar. Present. Thank you. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Thank you. Janet Magdalena Morales Gómez. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, good night to the rest. Uh, me quedo solo con Raúl. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good, work. good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Oh my God, really? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> it's so cute. Bye bye. Okay, Edwin. Bye bye. Bye, Gilberto. I help you. Okay, Raúl. So let's work together. Vamos a trabajar juntos. Dime. Eh, ¿Cómo te ha ido? Creo que tuvimos una reunión uno a uno antes, ¿no? Eh, no, es primera vez. Chicha. Oh, really? Sí. Okay. Te siento bien callado en las clases. Tú dime, ¿qué, qué onda? Eh, para serle sincero, eh, primera vez que agarro un curso de inglés. Uh -huh. eh, pues sí, me gusta bastante. Lo voy a aprender. Eh, pero eh, eh, aquí siento que hay muchas personas que ya saben un montón. Entonces yo me siento, pucha, que hay un montón de, de, de palabras y todo. Entonces, uh -huh. eh, yo... Yo creo, y ahora me preguntaron que si me iba a inscribir al, al tercer módulo, uh -huh. pero yo les dije que sí me podía inscribir otra vez al segundo. Uh -huh. Pero no sé, ¿verdad? todavía no me dieron respuesta. Fíjate que todos esos compañeros que tú tenés, hay dos o tres personas y que casi no hablan también, que se acaban de inscribir en el básico 2, o sea, es primera vez que están también. Y pues la mayoría que estaban ya en el básico 1... Eh, la mayoría sí, ya, ya se empezó a soltar, porque ese es el punto. Tú te tenés que soltar, o sea, al final intentarlo. Y me llegó una vez que estuviste ahí. Yo te recomendaría que siguieras. Dale el básico 3 y adquirir la, la gramática es bien fácil. No sé si estabas cuando les expliqué cómo hacer lo de la dieta, de ser verbo, palabra, positivo, negativo, pregunta. Sí. Agarra un libro y empezás con eso, no un cuaderno, perdón, y empezás con eso. Cinco verbos todos los días, cinco palabras todos los días. Eso es como agarrar la disciplina de presionarte a ti mismo, de hacer eso todos los días. Lo he intentado hacer, uh -huh. pero por mi trabajo se me es bien difícil. Vas al baño del trabajo. <risa> eh, pues yo llego a la oficina eh, porque trabajo en instalaciones entonces Ajá. yo llego, preparo todo eh, y salgo a mi instalando, llego a las 5 entrego material etcétera, me vengo para la casa, estoy aquí 7 7 y cuarto, 7 y 20 ya vengo, me conecto y Ajá. me cuesta bastante, si sí, trato de como lo que ando haciendo eh, como en inglés, ¿verdad? Tratar ahí, ando con el traductor y todo eso, pero sí se me hace bien difícil. Uh -huh. Mira, pues el primer paso es agendarse, organizarse uno. Fíjate que a mí me costó bastante en cuanto a esto de tener tres trabajos. Y te hablo de mi experiencia. Yo desde las 
cuatro y media estoy levantado y usualmente me acuesto a las doce, doce y media a veces, eh, trabajando aquí sentado, escribiendo y pues dentro de las cinco el primer trabajo salgo a las doce y media, entro a la una, salgo a las dos, luego ya entro a las siete, me vengo de regreso para acá y ya salgo hasta las once, doce otra vez. Eh, ese pequeño lapso entre las 2 y las 7 es lo único que me queda para salir a caminar, sacar al chucho, jugar con los bichos un rato. Entonces, uh -huh. mira, es, es pesado. No te voy a mentir, es pesado. Pero es de encontrar el tiempo, porque te lo pongo así, yo fácilmente podría terminar de dar esta clase y decir, ya mañana me levanto temprano y subo los videos, o hago lo que tenga que hacer, preparo mis clases. Pero al final encontré la manera de hacerlo y es quedarme después, ni modo. O sea, eso es lo que se requiere para tener un salario decente, si lo quieres ver desde mi perspectiva, ¿no? Sí. Eh, quieres mejorar tu salario, quieres superarte, hace un sacrificio extra. Yo te lo digo, eh, lo he visto, les explicaba yo en el básico 1, la primera sesión yo siempre la dedico a esto, a hablarles de motivación, ¿no? Tenía una alumna cuando empecé a dar clases hace siete años. Y porque yo, a mí siempre me ha encantado eso, ¿no? Y entonces cuando veo que alguien de plano quiere aprender, pues inventé eso de la dieta. Con ella fue la primera persona que yo vi res resultados así contundentes. Una mujer que del puerto de la libertad vendía pastelitos de, de esos de carne y de ahí se pagaba la academia, porque una academia pagada. Y pues empecé con esto de la dieta con ella y todos los días llegaba, y teacher, mire, hice esto y lo repetí, lo repetí, lo repetí. ¿Cómo lo digo? A ver. Dale, le decía, ahí estaba, en lo que yo andaba caminando, ella me seguía, cada cambio de clase andaba encima de mí, a veces nos quedábamos incluso, ¿verdad? Okay. Puya, pero desesperada por aprender. En seis meses llegó a intermedio tres. Yo me fui de esa academia eh, y me la encontré dos años después trabajando en un call center. O sea, pasó de ganar, ¿qué? 300 pesos al mes a hacer casi 800, 900 dólares al mes, según me explicó. Sí, sí. O yo sea... Sé. Sí, yo sé que necesito un esfuerzo. O sea, te digo, esa mujer se sacrificaba, tenía una hija, tiene una hija, y, pues, o sea, se, se sacrificaba exagera, exageradamente. Y así te podría hablar de un montón de casos. Entonces, todo depende de la necesidad que tengas de superarte, que tanto necesites hablar inglés. Este link que te he puesto ahí son audios con eh, la transcripción ¿no? de cada audio. Uh -huh. Entonces, lo que te recomiendo es agarrar un audio nada más por semana. Puedes descargar uh -huh. el audio si quieres. Escribís todo, todo lo de la transcripción. Hacelo a mano si quieres. Y durante los primeros dos días, sin abrir la boca, Solo escuchas y vas viendo las letras de ese audio. A que tu cerebro se adapte a la pronunciación de las palabras, porque ese es el problema que tenemos ahorita. Es, intentas leer lo que le decía Yancy ahora. O sea, cabal sí. un claro ejemplo. O sea, se estaba dando duro por leer answer, answer, answer. <risa> dicen, ok, entonces es mejor escuchar y repetir, repetir, repetir. Tu cerebro se va a adaptar. Tercer, cuarto día empezás a repetir, a mover, a articular, pues todos esos son músculos, empezás a articular, a trabar la lengua, y lo último que haces, ya el quinto o sexto día, es grabarte un audio en el teléfono, leyendo tú solo lo que has aprendido. Una vez lo tenés grabado, le das play al unísono, ¿okay? al audio y, y a tu celular. Y eso te, te va a llevar a algo que a mí me llevó de pequeño, autocorrección. Yo no tenía nadie con quien practicar. Uh -huh. Aprendí con un diccionario desde los okay. siete años. Entonces, después analizando qué era lo que yo hacía, era eso. Traducía canciones. Y yo cometí el error de traducirlas primero. Ojo, no se hace eso. Se hace hasta el último día. Ya cuando ya me lo aprendí, ya pronuncio perfecto todo lo de ahí, entonces traduzco. Entonces me fijo en cada tiempo gramatical que estaba en lo que estaba leyendo. Uh -huh. Eso te va a soltar la lengua, te va a dar más confianza para hablar. Funciona bastante. Sí, yo, yo ocupo bastante porque me, me gusta la música. Entonces, yo lo que estoy haciendo ahorita es, es, es poniendo la música con, con la letra en inglés. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí estoy, estoy, pero, eh, o sea, las canciones tienen unas palabras más complicadas, entonces las pongo. 
en español. Entonces, ahorita lo voy a hacer así como usted dice. Lo voy a poner solo en inglés y hasta después uh -huh. la voy a traducir, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, ya te... No sé si estás en el celular ahorita. De... Sí, en los dos. La compu en el celular. Ok, bueno. Eh, a ver. Ahí hay una página, igual. Se fue toda la address, pero igual. Esa página es de música. Eso es adictivo. Ponerlo en beginners, en principiante. ¿eh? Ah, más, pero, pero, intentarlo pero, en karaoke primero. Solo que lo ha mandado al chat del... del sí, te estoy viendo las cosas al chat de Zoom. Sí, correcto. Okay. Ahí están las dos direcciones. En el chat de Zoom. Al cerrarlo, no, no se va a ir esto. Sí, se irían. Los... Si me lo pueden. Y si, pero, si lo mandan al, al grupo. Eh, uh -huh. Sería a ti, si querés, enviarme un mensaje. Pero me quiero ver si te encuentro aquí rápido. Raúl, Raúl, Raúl. R Campos, ¿verdad? R Campos. Sí, ese. Uh -huh. Ahí estás. Ok, entonces, okay. revisalos, travesía, curiosidad de eso, no discrimines con las lecturas, es el segundo link que te envío, Speaking is Easy. El primero es una aplicación, la puedes instalar en el, en el celular, traveseala, hay una gran librería de canciones que tienen ellos, y de igual manera, ¿verdad? Te invito a que hagas los ejercicios en la plataforma, son bien sencillos, a medida nos vayamos moviendo. Ya esta semana sí, empiezo a revisar eso, yo. Eso y... la estoy haciendo. Gracias, muchas gracias. Ok, cualquier cosa, ahí estoy a la orden, me puedes escribir y pues con gusto vemos cómo nos ayudamos, ok. Ok, teacher, gracias, muy amable. Mucho gusto, feliz noche. Nos vemos, gracias, igual. Bye, bye.